chemical restraint often occurs, and um, and and if it if it doesn't, at least that's what's in the mind as a therapeutic goal for the prescriber and many times the nursing staff. A belief that uh, there will be efficacy by sedation. Uh, when we give a drug, there is a clear black and white appearance that we're trying to protect others. And finally, up until now, there's been minimal regulatory risk and liability for the nursing home. Now, uh, with the increased emphasis on this, we're increasing that uh, regulatory risk. Uh, I do a lot of med mail, and I haven't seen an increase in liability from a standpoint of lawsuits. But let's look at that last bullet another way, and that is if a facility is doing an egregiously bad job and loading everybody up with inappropriate antipsychotics to chemically restrain them, who gets in trouble? The nursing home. The prescriber doesn't get in trouble. I have yet to see any consequence for the prescriber, except fewer phone calls. Mm -hmm.